y'all for having me here. I'm glad to be back with you. And thank you, Representative Klaus, for your warm introduction and for how well you represent the folks you serve. Representative Lee, we're certainly glad to have you as well. It's important for your legislators that we work well together. And your legislators are very helpful and very effective in helping me uh, move forward the, some common sense policies to improve our state. Just a year ago, y'all, we were here digging dirt and we uh, had the groundbreaking for this facility. And today we're back and we're gonna celebrate again the grand opening and cut the ribbon for this Gateway Tire Distribution Center. Days like today require uh, teamwork and commitment and both of those must be focused to get good results. Economic development is a collaborative effort between state and local leaders and with businesses that are attracted by all that Alabama has to offer. On the state level, my team and I are focused on making days like today the everyday norm, not the exception. Certainly, um, Alabama's Secretary of Commerce, Greg Canfield, does a great job in attracting investments all across our state. And um, many thanks are also due to our local leaders, uh, Mayor Mark Saliba from the City Council, um, Ch County Commission Chairman Mark Culver, and certainly the Houston County Commission, and your very effective Chamber of Commerce. Y'all, it just truly takes everyone working together to have success. The most important players on our team today are the folks at Gateway Tires. Since 1929, employees here at Gateway Tower have been committed to effective business and they've made shopping and, work and doing business with this firm a personal experience. And that's a great example of why companies can be assured of success with our workforce. Part of Alabama's winning team is also AIDT and AIDT partners with uh, companies like Gateway, Gateway Tires to train their workers. Here in Dothan, Gateway Tire currently has uh, 18 full-time employees, 10 of which have been trained by AIDT. And so in total, AIDT is committing, a, committing approximately $480,000 to this project. So Brian Dismukes, I assure you and the folks at Gateway Tire, we've got you back and we're gonna continue to support you. Y'all as elected officials, we do all we can to create a positive business environment. But at the end of the day, government does not create a single job. Companies do. And we're here to celebrate Gateway Tire's new distribution center's grand opening. And the $11 million that they have committed to this is not just about money spent, but it's about bringing uh, 30 new jobs to this and hope for future growth in the coming down soon. These new jobs represent our neighbors, our friends, our families, and these people will be better able to achieve their dreams. Today certainly reflects a commitment, not just to grow a business, but to grow a community and a state as well. And when you got a team working together that's committed helping businesses succeed and families thrive, then you are sure bound to get good, positive results. Today's announcement, along with the recent good news that uh, unemployment has reached uh, historic low levels and that more people are working today than ever before, it demonstrates that what we are doing in Alabama and the way we are doing it is working. And as a result, our people are working. Since I became governor, more than $8 billion has been invested in our state, creating over 15,000 new jobs. And y'all, that's good news is made possible by companies like Gateway. So to my friends and partners at Gateway Tire, thank you for selecting Alabama. Thank you for investing in our state. But most of all, thank you for investing and believing in our people they will not disappoint you. Again, it is my honor to be with you as your governor on this day. I'm looking forward to helping cut the ribbon. We're open for business.